Hello, I am Kedar Khanulkar from Vector. In this video, we'll be talking about how we can perform a media conversion using a Vector Ethernet interface. Media conversion essentially means converting a link from 100 base TX, which is called as the office Ethernet, to automotive Ethernet, which is 100 base T1. This video is associated with knowledge base article KB00. 13819. The link of the same is provided in the description box. To perform this activity will require a vector Ethernet interface, which essentially has a port of automotive Ethernet and a port of the office Ethernet. So for this example, we'll have VN5620 hardware. And to perform media conversion will require Ethernet hardware manager, which is the vector hardware manager. The link of Vector Hardware Manager can be found through our driver setup, which is provided in the description box. Before proceeding to the demonstration, please note that we don't need to configure an IP address as media conversion is a transparent operation between two physical layers itself. Now, once you open the Vector Hardware Manager, you must click on switch to configuration view. I have connected VN5620 interface. And for this example, we will consider a media conversion between port one of 5620, which is automotive ethernet, and the cascade port, which is the infrastructure ethernet. I will click on add network, and I will name it as ethernet one. Now, for this, I will add a new link. And as I have connected port one and cascade port, I will add the port one to this link and the cascade port to this link. Now, please note that the link speed must be same. For example, if you are selecting 100 base T1 of automotive ethernet, you must select 100 base uh, TX for the infrastructure ethernet to avoid uh, loss of data. I will click on edit for the port one and I will select the mode as 100 base T1 master for this example. I will click on accept and now I will click on edit for the cascade port. So I will select auto negotiation restricted to 100 Mbit and I will click on accept. Now, once this is completed, I will click on deploy. You can see there is a success in the deployment. With this, I can complete a media conversion operation using a VN Ethernet interface. Thank you.